Hi, I'm Kurt. I'm with Traverse Tool Company. Today I'm going to test some torque wrenches and see how they compare against each other. I'm going to start off with a good quality one, and I know this is pretty good because it's been tested at the manufacturer before they shipped it out. Included with it is a little calibration test data. It's not calibrated, so this isn't a certificate of calibration, but it does show that they tested it and, and it shows the results that were very good uh, from the factory. Another one wasn't calibrated, wasn't checked, probably right from the machine that made it, went right into a box and was shipped without any eyes even on it. Super cheap, but you know, is budget brand okay? We'll see how it measures up. And lastly, we're gonna test this old school guy I remember buying this thing new about 50 years ago. That's a long time, kind of embarrassing, but uh, I've always wondered how accurate is this thing anyway for all that time? I've never actually tested it until now. So I'm curious myself to see how it works. Anyway, let's get started with these two. So I'm gonna test them against, against each other. I'm gonna trust the one that has their certificate included. So this is my proof that that this one is going to be good. I'm going to test this one first against our good one. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm taking a 3 8 drive, 12 point socket, and the size on it is 7 16 I believe. Yes, that's a 7 16 12 point socket with a 3 8 drive. The reason it's a 3 8 drive is because that's the drive on our torque wrench. I'll snap that right on there. The reason it's 7 16 and it's 12 point is so that I can get a 3 8 square drive on the other torque wrench fitting right into it. See how well that works? So I set these both at 20 foot pounds. And right off the start, I noticed on this better quality one that once you set it, the handle stays in place. To loosen it, you have to slide that collar back and now you can turn it. So let's see, where did 20 go? There it is. So I locked it right in on 20. This one, well, it doesn't lock in, but the, you have to line up the line on the handle with the line on the, on the shaft. But when you're using it, you might twist it a little bit. So it might come off that because it doesn't lock into place. I'll be careful and we'll see how, how it works. So what I'm hoping for here is for the, the both of them to click. These are both the click style torque wrenches. So I wanna hear that click at exactly the same time. Okay, so what I did here is I set up a little microphone that I'm going to keep keep right by the torque wrenches so that hopefully you'll be able to hear the click. And they're both set to, to 20 foot-pounds. Technically, they should snap. They should click at exactly the same time. So let's find out. Nope, they didn't. There's one and two. So I'm giving it even pressure inward. And now one is a little bit off. Okay, so the one I'm going to say is off is probably the, the cheap one because I have my test results. Okay, so I'm going to adjust it. Don't know which way to go, but I'm going to try adjusting it up. Okay, I adjusted the cheap one. Up to 25 foot-pounds. I left the good one on 20 foot-pounds. Let's see what happens. That's what I'm looking for. Two simultaneous clicks. You hear that? So that's at 25 foot-pounds. So that's five foot-pounds off. So I'm curious. I'm gonna take it up to 30 and see what happens. So the cheap one's on 30. The good one's still on 20. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's, well, okay. So at 30, they're still clicking simultaneously, same way that it did at 25. 
So I was going to say, well, so I know it's five foot pounds off, but it's really not because it's reacting the same way at 25 foot pounds as it is at 30. Now I have it on, where are we? 35 foot pounds. Let's see what happens. Okay. That makes sense. So two separate clicks. All right. So I'm going to bring this back to 20. which is right there, two separate clicks. So we know it's off. Don't really know how much because I get the same reaction um, in a few different places. Let's see what happens. Come apart, there we go. If we go up to, I'm gonna take it up to 40 foot pounds. I love how that handle locks right into place. Take this one up to 40. It's a little bit harder to see the lines on this one. There's 40 foot pounds. Let's see what difference it makes up here. Okay, here we go. Nope, still off. Okay, I'm gonna trust my good one and adjust the cheap one. Here's 45 foot pounds on the cheap one. Still, still 40 at the good one. Well, it's closer. I'm going to try 50 foot pounds. So 50 on the good one, 40, I'm sorry, 40 on the good one, 50 on the cheaper one. And that's what we're looking for. So at 20, it was roughly five foot pounds off. At 40, it's about 10. So it's not just a steady number of foot pounds that it's off. So we know it's off. Um, my estimation is, why even bother with it? I mean, if, you, if, it's, if it's telling you bad information, what's the point in torquing it anyway? You might as well just use a ratchet that you already probably have. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one to rest. Done with that. Let's try this old school thing. So uh, one thing that's different is the fact that uh, our good torque wrench has a 3 8 drive. This one has a half inch drive. So I can't use my trusty little 7 16 socket with a 3 8 drive. But I found one. It's a 15 millimeter socket that fits right on the half inch and it's three eighths drive, square drive. So putting that three eighths drive on that end and the square, um, the square drive in the, the, what did I say that was once again, 15, six, or 15 millimeters, I think. Yep, 15 millimeters. Okay, here we go. Let's see, I'm gonna back this off a little bit. Let's bring it down to 30. So when I test this, we should hear the click right when this needle is reading 30 foot pounds. This one's 30 foot pounds, so there's zero, 10, 20, 30. That's right on, right on. Of course, it's only a needle and there are only lines on there, so I mean, it's pretty darn close but it may not be quite as exact all right let's test this at 40 foot pounds now nah, let's go right up to 50. that's 0 10 20 30 40 50. pretty good pretty darn good so this old thing about 50 years old is better than this not so old, um, super cheap torque wrench that I actually wasted my money on. <laughs> okay, I just wanna check on the lower end of this and at 20 foot pounds, 
just for giggles. I'm, I'm starting to trust it here. So I think it's going to be pretty good. But let's see. There's 0, 10, 20. Okay, so what if you have a quarter inch driver or a torque wrench um, and you want to test it against the 3 eighths? So what do you do? I, I couldn't find a 12 point socket that, uh, that fits a square quarter inch drive. So what I did is I got an adapter that goes from quarter inch female to three eighths male. And now I can use my seven sixteenth socket on it. Seven sixteenths, 12 point socket on it. Okay, so I hope that you learned something from this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Again, thank you for watching.